My name is Susan Honig. I'm an ecological artist. I worked in the Sauerland Mountains at a bird banding station. And as I worked, I began to learn more about the habitat and what is important to keep a healthy ecosystem. So when I took walks, I began to think and envision how I could do something as an ecological artist to make people aware of the ecological relationships and the value and the beauty of native trees. And so I started creating leaf sculptures. The selection by Susan of the American chestnut for one of her leaf sculptures is important to us because it helps tell a story about the ability to reclaim nature from some of the negative impacts that humans have had on it. The American chestnut once dominated the eastern forest from Maine to Georgia, and it was an important source of food for both animals and people and helped support the rural economy. But over three billion of the chestnuts were destroyed by a blight caused by trees imported from Asia to decorate people's gardens. Now we're helping the American chestnut get a second start. So right now we're doing an 18 acre forest restoration project right here in Mountain Lakes Preserve on the other side of the lake. Today we are standing at the site of the American chestnut planting. So here we have planted eight American chestnuts. These are 100% American chestnuts that are the progeny of ch chestnuts that survived the blight. There's only about a 30% survival rate, so our hope is that at least two live and we're able to participate in the conservation of the species and its seed. So in order to create a leaf sculpture, I had to study, look up the tree and the leaves and find out more about how they grow. I was very interested in the leaves, the serrated edges, because they're unlike really any other leaf. They form a breaking wave pattern. They're very coarsely serrated and the tips are like breaking waves. And so when I made the leaf sculptures, I had to collect a lot of stones that had points. They're very coarsely pointed and create the, these points along the edges of each leaf. And within each leaf, I create the veins of the leaf, which some smaller stone. And so there was much attention to this composition of the, of the of the leaves that grow on the tree. I love the fact that I'm doing this in relationship to the restoration project, which is behind the fence. And when people come to look at it, I want them to see this connection, this connection between the sculpture and the saplings. Because then they can see, well, what goes on around it? Susan's leaf sculpture work highlights a subject important to us, which is native plants. We have devoted a lot of time and effort to eradicating invasive species and encouraging native species, such as the American chestnut, because it is the natives that sustain the birds, the insects, and the wildlife who rely on those plants for their food and their existence.
this idea of creating an ecological art project for people is to create awareness of, of the beauty and value of the trees. It's not simply an art object placed on a pedestal, but it's an art piece that points to everything around it. We hope you've enjoyed seeing Susan Honig's beautiful leaf sculpture and hearing about the mission of Friends of Princeton Open Space. And that you'll come and visit Mountain Lakes Preserve to see the sculpture and the work that we're doing. There are plenty of ways you can help Friends of Princeton Open Space with our mission. So please visit our website if you would like to volunteer to work on the forest restoration project or participate in the Donate a Tree program. Thank you. <laughs>